again, to shore up a little bit of more hip mobility in respects to earning internal and external rotation, but now more formulated in a real life scenario or standing, what we're going to do is include some type of a resistance vector, in this case, a band. And more importantly, we're gonna hook it onto the footprint to engage those subtle muscles and the hip flexors that cause internal rotation and external rotation, okay? You have varying levels of intensity or um, I guess increasing difficulty for this particular exercise. Easier is gonna be closer to the ground when you wanna get a little bit more aggressive and more serving for you. The leg goes up at least to hip level. From this position, as I cause tension, I'm earning an internal rotation and an external rotation. And this single leg platform is still staying under that position we've talked about in the past. The footprint straight ahead. I don't turn my foot offset. If I need to leverage more core control, the knee, the ankle, and the hip joint go to the side. I pull tension on this. I could start here and make my way up to a full encompassing hip level area. Maybe I'm just staring at something. Points to consider, shoulder blades are down and back, pelvis is still underneath me. The more I can earn the internal rotation and external rotation with tension, the more likely these muscle groups will start to fire off consistently.